The weak family on the Darling Downs have jumped in boots and all to a total mixed ration system under a constant barn, complete with robots for milking and an automatic manure scraper for effluent removal. In this video, Grant Week explains some of the challenges that came with pursuing a management style and investment that is unique in Queensland and quite possibly in Australia. By the time we'd, we'd sort of gotten too far down the track of talking about what we do with, with uh, this and how far we go straight ahead, straight, straight away sort of thing, well, one thing led to another in, in, in some respect. We, we were fairly soon convinced to, to go, go ahead and put the roof on and uh, go ahead with the barn sort of straight away, but um, that created other issues because, you know, there's management uh, requirements for, for a barn then, it, was, it meant more work, so I thought, well, it wasn't really going to be too much of a step forward for me as far as I was concerned, I was going to have to be involved with uh, maintaining a barn as, as, as well on top of what I had to do otherwise, so. <laughs> Sitting down with the bank manager, it was, come to the conclusion that the robots had to happen regardless of it sort of had an open mind towards and we, we, we definitely hadn't sort of um, lent towards doing it straight away but I thought well it's just, it's just one factor as far as the construction went is to you know, leave your options open in the future and, and have provision for putting robots in so it's, it's all, all, all in all it was decided it was, it was the whole, whole lot of nothing and uh, this is sort of the package we got now. He says that learning curves with the robots have meant that it is difficult to specify their exact savings, but that these were becoming clearer as the shed and robots became more established. Basically the rule of thumb on the robots is you'll have, have one person spending as much time with them as, as what the, the, your conventional dairy spent running anyway. It, easier work though. Easier yeah. work, you can pick the time a little bit more, you're not dictated by the hours as much. He says that there have been other challenges and lessons to be learnt from others. Everybody probably makes a mistake of thinking, yeah, it'll only be a few weeks or a month or two and getting the cows out and robots and we'll be away, but <laughs> it's, it's not that simple. Um, this is certainly, yeah, that year, year's journey and, and probably a little bit more to, to really be up and away. Um, even robots on their own. I've, I'd only ever looked at, at, at one sort of a the robot up at, up the other table and it's really what changed my attitude about robots in the first place. I, um, until I saw one in the, in the flesh and, and realised the, the potential of what they could achieve or, or what they could do, um, there's no way in hell I'd ever have one. But, so, you know, the best best thing a person could do is book two or three weeks holiday and find as many as they can to, to at least get rid of the naivety and, and be aware of what, what they're going to be faced with, I suppose. There's, there's a lot to it, I suppose, as far as Feed, feeding out around the, the outside of the shed, the, the main feed as well. I mean, it's yeah. just <laughs> part of part of my initial hope of starting off with a new feed pad for, for a start was to get away with having to come back and feed cows at nine or ten o'clock before I went to bed, and uh, it sort of didn't change because <laughs> uh, it it's, it's just a, re a recommendation, I suppose, particularly in a, in a barn environment. To uh, the more times you're feeding out, the more more, more it stimulates cows to get up and move around, and, and it leads to cows come with a robot as well. So, at the end of the day, daring is a is a game where you're either in it or you're not. I suppose it's, it's not like other aspects of farming or cropping where you can sort of take a punt and hedge your bets a little bit and, and make up your mind which you know different crop you're going to grow this year or that year or, or whatever. But um, the nature of cows is a it's, it's, it's a long term long term business. So, setting the cow up for lactation and, and milking it through. This is, you can't just switch it on and off. So, at um, the end of the day, it's, it's like, come back to what I said before about, about the environment for the cows. Um, if, if we're going to be stuck feeding cows, you know, on a TMR basis, well, um, it's a matter of doing the job properly. and.